This is absolutely an all-hands-on-deck effort to ensure the safety of our personnel and citizens, rally our allies and partners, and organize the evacuation of thousands and thousands of individuals. We've been inundated with heartbreaking messages from people desperate, pleading with us to give them some assistance to try and get out of the country. These are American passport holders, these are Afghans who've got all their right papers, who've tried to get through the checkpoints and have been physically beaten back by the Taliban. Urgent attempts to escape outside the Kabul airport. 15,000 Americans and up to 60,000 Afghans who've helped the US desperate to leave the country. One shocking moment as an infant can be seen handed to US troops over the razor-wired wall. With more than 5,200 US troops already on the ground at the airport, officials say they're upping efforts to process and evacuate the thousands of Americans and Afghans who helped the US. Officials saying that overnight there were 20 flights lined up to get people out the country. This as some planes have been departing with empty seats because people can't get through Taliban-run checkpoints on their way to the airport. Airport. We've got additional consular officers now at these additional gates with additional troops helping the consular officers. The American citizen David Fox is stuck in Kabul with his wife and child, desperate to leave the country. At one point, making it to the airport, but getting turned away. We decided on the advice of my State Department friend to make a run for the airport. I actually got whacked with the um, you know, with one of these, like, you know, fan belts for not moving fast enough. And it's not just Americans desperate to get out. There are reports that Taliban officials are now conducting door-to-door -door searches for people who worked with U.S. allied forces. COVID hospitalizations hitting their highest point since January. Now nearly 93,000 patients seeking care. The crisis deepening in the South. In Alabama, ICUs are 100% full. We're experiencing wait times in the emergency room like we've never seen. They are waiting for hours and sometimes more than 24 hours in the emergency department so that they can move upstairs to get a bed. The number of children hospitalized with COVID now at its highest point since the pandemic began. And images like these are emerging. A Navy medical support team arriving to assist Louisiana hospitals where teams are overworked and understaffed. But as help arrives to deal with the influx of COVID patients, mask battles are erupting. No more masks, no more masks. This chaotic meeting in front of a statewide board of education in Louisiana cut short. Madam President, yes. due to the fact that the audience has ignored the request to wear masks, I move that we adjourn the meeting. The motion passes. And in Texas, where hospital workers are desperate. Today was probably the most emotionally, mentally, and physically draining shift I've worked. 